Titan FC 35 takes place on September 19th and features three title fights. To talk more about the event, we have CEO of Titan FC, Jeff Aronson, on the phone. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. Oh, it's a pleasure, Mike. Thank you. Titan FC made its debut on UFC Fight Pass for Titan FC 34. On a scale from 1 to 10, how big of a success was that first show in terms of entertainment value and ratings? I would think overall, um, an eight and a half to a nine. Um, I think I think it was extremely successful on every single aspect. Uh, we couldn't have been happier as far as the production. Um, the viewership was phenomenal. But there's always room to improvement. Obviously, it was our first show, and you know I think things will go more and more seamlessly as time goes on. The main event for Titan FC 35 features Bellator veteran Rick Hahn and current Titan lightweight champion Pat Healy. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about the main event and what it means for both fighters? I mean, this is a fight that could be on any single, you know, UFC card, uh, you know, anywhere, anytime, any place. Um, I think you have two of the top lightweights in the world going at it. You've got. Um, Pat Healy, who's, who's probably, you know, uh, one of the, the, the most grizzled veterans out there. I mean, he's fought and beat everybody. Uh, um, you know, he's had wars with everyone. He's proved that he's more than UFC level, um, you know, top 10 level. And in Rick Horn, you've got a guy that's won multiple Bellator titles, fought for the title there at different weight classes, a judo Olympian. Um, I'm expecting a, a very, very strategic fight, and I think first person to make a mistake is really going to uh, get capitalized on. Desmond Green had a crazy good knockout at Titan FC 34, and now challenges Andre Harrison for the featherweight title. These are two hungry guys who are getting ready to throw down. How excited are you for this fight? In my mind, those are two of the top 145ers in the world, not in UFC today. And I mean that in all sincerity. I think that that um, Andre Harrison has fought three times for Titan already. Every time he's fought, he's gotten better and better and better. This kid's evolving every day. Um, he might be the strongest, physically strongest 145er I've ever seen in my life. Um, and that goes for any, uh, any promotion. Um, and you have him in there against Desmond Green, who I think has proved to all of us that he's got the it factor. You know, Desmond Green can end the fight at any moment, any place, from any angle. You know, um, if, I, if I'm Andre Harrison, I'm trying to get that fight to the ground. But he's got a problem ahead of him. He's got a D1 wrestler in Desmond Green. I don't know if Desmond's going to be able to fight off those takedowns. I don't. I don't know if the wrestling's going to negate itself and it's going to be a stand-up war. But I think you have the makings of of a historic fight between those two that night. And does it kind of hurt from a from a promotional standpoint that you have these two young, super talented guys that the UFC could just pick up from you whenever they wanted? No, I think I think that's the beautiful part of this whole thing. I mean, I think that's the completion of the circle, if you will. Um, that these guys are on audition. Every Titan fight, they're auditioning. And you better believe that, that Sean Shelby and Joe Silva and Dana and the whole executive staff over there are tuning in to every, you know, Titan fight. And they're watching with eyes wide open. You know, they're watching. And um, I, I think that this is one of those fights that the winner will not be in Titan for much longer. That, that's my guess. I gave you a chance to give a pitch to the fans the last time me and you spoke. Uh, so I'll let you take it over from here again. Why should the people watching at home watch Titan FC 35 on September 19th? I mean, you, you look at this card from top to bottom, you know, you, you've got three title fights, as you said, you know, Tim Elliott's last title fight was one of the most entertaining fights I've seen in a long time. I mean, he, he did stuff in that cage that night that I, I, I had like, you know, I had a, I had a close one eye as I was watching it. I was so nervous and, and he just pulled it off flawlessly. Um, but he's fighting a kid, Felipe Efron, who is 
the youngest shooter box system, black belt ever in history. You know, those familiar with shooter box know that shooter box is one of the most violent camps in MMA history. Produced Vandalay Silva, Shogun, um, you know, Anderson was there, um, Pele, um, you know, the Cyborg. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. And this kid is the youngest black belt ever in that system, and he can't get fights. So I was more than comfortable throwing him into a title fight with Tim Elliott. So I think that's another one that's going to be a bomb burner.、Um, the whole card, from, from top to bottom, there's there's not a fight on here that I'm not totally psyched to see. I mean, this card, I, I think you'd be remiss. If you don't, if you don't stay home that night, crack open a beer, watch the fights, and just just enjoy a great night of fights. Thanks, Jeff. It was a pleasure talking to you. And fans at home, make sure you tune in on September 19th to Titan FC 35. It's going to be a hell of an event. Three title fights, and I、uh, can't wait to see that one.